In this video, we'll walk through a couple of examples of solving for a letter. So in the first equation, we have a sub n equals a sub 1. Those can be treated as two different variables, plus the quantity n minus 1 times d. Let's solve for this variable d. The first thing we want to do is get d by itself, or get everything that's multiplied by d and d by itself. So we'll first subtract a sub 1 from each side, and that will give us a sub n minus a sub 1 equals the quantity n minus 1 times d. Now, if we had uh, something equals 3d, you would know, okay, we're just going to divide each side by 3. Well, this one works in exactly the same way. We can divide each side by n minus 1, by whatever is being multiplied by d. Uh, sometimes equation solving is uh, taught as undoing what's happening, and, and that's great if you think of it like that. That works also. So we're undoing this multiplication by dividing. So what we'll have then in this step and after that is a sub n minus a sub 1 over the quantity n minus 1 equals d. So we have isolated d and everything on the left hand side is what equals d. Okay, next one. 1 over f equals 1 over d sub 1 plus 1 over d sub 2. Now in this equation, let's go ahead and solve for this f right here. So we could uh, do this in a number of ways. We could clear the fractions by multiplying through by the lowest common denominator. But I think it's going to be a little bit more efficient in this one to actually add these two fractions and then just cross multiply. So let's, let's go ahead and add these two fractions so that we have, after we're done with this, we'll have one fraction equals another fraction. Okay, so adding these two, we need the lowest common denominator of these two. Well, it's it's a d sub 1 times d sub 2. That's the lowest common denominator. So we're not multiplying through by that denominator, because again, we're not clearing the fractions. We're just adding these two fractions. So those are two different techniques of solving an equation that has fractions or, or rational expressions. So to get this fraction to have d sub 1, d sub 2 uh, as its denominator, then we need to multiply each side by d sub 2, or not each side, but each top and bottom, numerator and denominator, so d sub 2 over d sub 2. So we're not, we're not doing anything wrong here, we're just multiplying by 1, and that's okay because um, we're just multiplying it by, by this one. If we are multiplying it by everything, uh, you can still just multiply by 1, but if you multiply through by the lowest common denominator, that other technique that I was talking about, well that's okay too because you're doing, doing it to everything. Uh, this one, if you're not doing it to everything, you have to just multiply by 1, or this d sub 2 over d sub 2. This one, let's get this LCD to be d sub 1 over d sub 1, to, so that we can make the, the LCD d sub 1 times d sub 2. Now, look at this. We've got our lowest common denominator in each of the fractions. And up in the numerator, what we have is d sub 2 plus d sub 1. In the denominator, we have d sub 1 times d sub 2. On the left-hand side, we haven't done anything to this left-hand side. We just have 1 over f still. So it's very important to understand that we haven't cleared the fractions. We've just added these two fractions. So those are different techniques. Now all, all we have to do is cross-multiply. So let's do that. 1 times d sub 1, d sub 2 is d sub 1, d sub 2, and that equals f times d sub 2 plus d sub 1. I'm going to write d sub 1 plus d sub 2 here just because, um, you know, we want to see the, the 1 first. Now, this is, the ending is very similar to this other problem. All we're going to do is divide each side by d sub 1 plus d sub 2 and we will end up with our answer. So, in the end, we have 
let's write it in black, d sub 1 times d sub 2 over d sub 1 plus d sub 2 equals f. So in both of those problems, we ended up with dividing by some, some expression uh, to, to take our last step to isolate the variable. All right, I hope that helps.